back and forth they go. Camilo Bajay gets birdie one, this for birdie at three. And this club has been treating him very well this week, holding a lot of putts. Got him to 21 under, playing in that final group, along with Kucher and Eric Van Royen, back to back. And this is the range where I really like Camilo's putting stroke. Kucher trying to keep pace. We saw this for the first nine holes yesterday, time and again. Yeah, he shot that 29 on the front. A little bit slower start today, but that certainly helps. And we get Kooch to 21 under. Bajeg is not done yet, though. This to get it to 23 under par. Camillo looking for his fifth win. Front left hole location can use the big slope to the right hand get side. There. Wow, what a shot. So uh, three under on the round. Birdie's at one, three, and five. Eagle birdie start on the back nine for Ryan Palmer. This his second. Hole location tucked over on the right side, just on top of that massive false front. Ooh, taking on a lot of a lot of risk right there, but that is beautiful. Come from the right hand side of the hole. It is straight back up the hill. You can give this one a good wrap. Like that? Oh, man. So Kuchar to 22 under par, and he's now just one behind Camillo. Would have gotten a great look at McKenzie's breaking across the hole. Yeah. The end of the grain, this thing certainly will get in the air a little bit. That was beautiful. Well done. Rolled through the pass palum beautifully. Did not bobble much at all. He is looking right at the flag. He's not going to use a slope at all here. He's going to take a direct line. Pow! Wow, he took a big risk and it paid off. Big putt. This is a beauty. Oh. He's got a chance. Oh. <laughs> you should have a wry smile. Eric, you almost made an ace. <laughs> 51 will carry the false front. This is a great line. Oh. Wow, that's incredible. Must have been a perfect number to take that flag on like that really hit this full here, this wedge. Yeah, a lot of pace on that one. Went down after it. It's got a lot of spin for sure. Oh! Matching each other tit for tat. At the 17th, this is Andrew Putnam. He's another man at, at least 20 under par. Nine under on the day. How many? There you go. Putnam. Looks like he's going to run out of holes, but he has played awfully well. Look, two shots by Pijegas and Kucher. They're in very close. Yeah. You bet. Brilliant. Get in. Get in. Oh. Just didn't carry enough speed. I'm sorry, Aaron, I stepped on you there. Okay. Love how he walks those in a couple of steps before that golf ball falls into the hole. He's had uh, some tee shots that has hit it past all both players. So he's having to control that. This one headed just a bit left. Uh oh. Yeah, it disappears. Well, a very successful right. drop there for Camillo. Oh, it came out nicely, too. Probably going to bound a little bit as well. 
That's Ryan Palmer at the 17th. He's making a run early. He's played very, very well, but he's just not going to get low enough to get the victory. This is fourth at 14. 131 yards pitching wedge here for Camillo. There is a backstop behind this flag he might choose to use. That's really well done from that position, taking the unplayable light, going through the motions, not rushing it. So Van Ryan's going to hold pace with Kuchar there. Billy Ray, you made the point. Just tough to get that putt there up the hill. You might see a bit of emotion if he makes this putt here and like a big fist pump or something like that. This could be crucial. Yeah. Hit the back of the cup with some authority. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. And walk it in again. something greater than himself right now, Terry. Second shot upcoming at 17 for Justin Suh. 140 and got to attack. This one just to the right, posing on it. Oh, yeah, that's why he's posing. Oh. Oh. That is a costly miss. for the reaction and the wince that he made. Okay. Oh, he did it again. Eric Van Royen is now at 25 under par. Alongside Matt Kuchar, who still has a birdie putt on the green right here. A must make. And he jars it. How great is this? Boy, with those two putts going in, they've certainly shrunk that hole for Kuchar. So, it's a new ball game. Leaving it short there, Steve. That's maybe a little sign of some nerves out of Kuchar. Not to be this week, but still going to be his best finish of the season. He had that T6 at the players, T5 at the Honda. Look at those eyes. Oh, and he does get there easily. What a second shot just when he needed it. He'll have that for Eagle here at 18. How about that for applying some pressure? Well, from the left-hand side of the fairway, 285 for Camillo. Starts this out to the right, trying to use some of that slope, let it kick to the left. This could get better here if it catch, catches off that ridge. Oh, look out, Terry. It does. Getting better and better. How about this for a finishing hole and the two players to match with those second shots? And no. That is going to be wow. a very difficult pitch. We've seen a couple guys get it close, but Cooch is going to have to take that straight upstairs over the bunker with some spin. Fight! Fight! Good shot, Cooch! All right, a chance. I mean, that's a that's a really good shot from down there. Ooh, hold on. But situationally, I mean, 
He may be outside of Van Royen. With a heavy heart, but inspired play and a back nine charge. It's Eric Van Royen here at the Worldwide Technology Championship. He is never going to forget those last three putts he hit on 16, 17, 18. Wow. Look at that embrace. Incredible finish. And a meaningful one, to say the least. Some kind of special win. His second on the PGA Tour. This one in Mexico.